let's say you want to go into space. Right now your options are quite limited. You can buy a ticket on the space shuttle, which is $26 million, or you can become an astronaut. Both very difficult. Now, the reason for that is it costs a lot of money to go into space, a lot of resources and a lot of fuel. And we're going to show you a, a new idea for space travel. It's something called solar sailing. Now, I have in my hand a flashlight. Uh, whoop, probably blinded you. Um, but if, let's say, I could leave this flashlight out in space, leave it on, the light coming from here eventually would start to push the flashlight in the opposite direction. So if I could put unlimited batteries in here, I would have basically a light drive, a photon drive. And that's the idea behind solar sailing. It's using the power of light to move things out in space. Now thankfully I can show you how this works because we have our brave volunteer Lisa here who's going to attempt to show us how a solar sail would work. She's hopping up on this thing, which is like a big reflective uh, kite almost out in space. And sunlight actually carries with it some force. That light moving from the sun reflecting off of a solar uh, sail would give some force in the opposite direction. How does that work? Well, very, very simple. Um, Lisa, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna be the sun. Lisa's on our solar sail. I I am a sunlight beam hitting that solar sail and, and watch what happens. Did you move? I did. You did. Not a lot. No. No. But every time you get hit by a piece of sunlight, you get going faster and faster and faster. Now you're not going very fast right now, but that's because there's a couple of things that are holding you down, right? Uh, uh, gravity. gravity is pushing you down. We've got friction. We've got air resistance. But I can tell you, Lisa, if you were in space right now, after about four months of hanging out on our solar sail, you could be going upwards of 60 or 80,000 kilometers an hour, which is almost twice as fast as we can go with all the rockets that we have right now. And that's using a totally renewable fuel source. It's the power of sunlight. And again, it's the future of space travel. Now, if you'd like to try our solar sail, maybe shoot across the stage a little while, come on down and visit us at the HR McMillan Space Center. For The Express, I'm Cam Cronin. And I'm Lisa.